after losing to the Sacramento Kings, one of the worst teams last season. I felt as though it was time for change. I'm a big city boy, not a country boy. And I feel as though here in Houston, I don't fit with their scenery. I don't fit with their organization. So it's time for change. I feel as though my services would be needed somewhere where I'm not the fourth person on the bench. They don't try to put me on injured reserve on certain games and where they would let me actually get some playing time. Now, it's a lot of things going on in Houston with my teammates and, and it's crazy. But the way I feel, I feel as though I have to go to the media to get my point across. And what better way to get to the media than after a game? <laughs> Obviously the team didn't bring it tonight. How does the way you prepare for the next game change after a loss like this? Well, it gives me some extra motivation, I know that much. And I hope the same is true for my teammates. Nobody in this league should ever feel good about losing like we did tonight. If I don't light a fire underneath every single player on this team, I'm going to be disappointed. But knowing these guys, I bet they're just as fired up as I am. And that means we're going to come out strong next game. You can count on that. Now... After five games in the NBA with Houston, I feel as though there has not been a change. My team does not want to do what they are here to do. I feel as though we can't take it to the top if nobody has the drive. Now, if I'm alone in this, then that's okay. You want to know why? Because it's time for a trade. I'm sick and tired of it, so let's go. Yeah, what's up, y'all? You know what it is, man. It's time for a trade, baby. You guys already know where I want to go. I'm, my first choice, without a doubt, 76ers. Second choice. Now, I'm kind of, you know, skeptical about where I want to go. Um, I really want to go to the Sixers, hands down. I can't really think about anywhere else I want to go. But what I can say is... I do want to be on the East Coast. I can't take it in the West. I'm too small, first of all. <laughs> you know, I can't be going up against these seven footers day in and day out when I'm trying to get to the lane. I'd rather go up against a couple people 6'9 and 6'11. You feel me? Now, the teams that I'm going to pick, of course, first choice would be the 76ers. Second choice would be the Hawks. And the third choice. I was going through it a whole bunch, you know, in my brain. I was saying, you know what? I want to stay on the East, but where do I want to go? Do I want a chance going on the team and taking an actual point guard spot that may be a key game? Or do I actually want a chance going to a team that's not going to really do anything for me just as a third choice and a selection? So, the team that I did choose, just think about it. The Knicks. Now, with three choices here, the 76ers, the Hawks, and the Knicks, I'm going to love it because I'm going to be on the East Coast whether you like it or not. Because I know I'm going to like it. Now, I need you guys to keep your fingers crossed for me. I need y'all to pray that I go to the Sixers, you know, the city of brotherly love. You know? I guess we just need to hurry up and finalize these trades. As you can see, the teams that's interested in me is the Dallas Mavericks. For what reason, I don't know. They already got J.J. Barea, but, you know, I'm not interested in them. So they can just keep being interested in me, but I'm going to put my request through. Now, I hope management doesn't, you know, try to backdoor me and keep me on the bench. So let's do this. I'm going to let y'all go ahead and read that right there. There's no need for me to read it. You already know. I'm putting the tree through. And that's that. Just pray for me, y'all. This is IKC signing out. I'm going to holler.